a specific type of question we look at with rates of change is this idea of growth and decay. Possibly you've seen it in, uh, where do you look at the radioactive growth and decay? Is that physics or chem? In chem. Okay. So one thing we know, growth and decay is a very basic model we're going to look at here. Growth and decay is proportional to the population that you have. I mean, the more people you have, then the more people that are going to die, the more people that are going to be born. That's the idea. So we could say that the rate of change of population with respect to time then is equal to some constant. It would be directly proportional to the population. Now, at this stage, of course, we haven't looked at integration yet. So we can't go and solve that uh, equation. So we can just quote the answer. We'll see how we solve it later on, you know, when we have dealt with integration of exponentials. But the solution to this differential equation is that P is equal to AE to the KT. P represents the population. A would end up being the initial population, if you think about it, because if you look at the P equals A to the KT, when T equals zero, you've got E to the power of zero, which is one. So A must represent the initial population. K is our growth or decay, if it happened to be getting small, constant. And T, of course, represents time. Now, I'm going to prove it to you here. So P is AE to the KT. If I differentiate it, because we do know how to differentiate exponentials, and you'll recall, I hope, that you differentiate the power and then bring that to the front. But the power does not change for an exponential. So we'll get KAE to the KT. AE to the KT is P. So we get K times P. Bingo. Let's have a look at this example. Bacteria. Oh, seems topical. Growth rates per hour population of bacteria is 10% of the population. The initial population is, how many zeros have I got there? A million. All right, so just imagine there's a million pieces of this bacteria crawling all over your body at the moment. Uh, they're there, trust me, you might not be able to see them, but they're just crawling over you, even as we speak. So at this stage, the sort of question they might ask, because we haven't done integration, is they'll just do that, like I did with that proof, will show that this is a solution. Show that this works. It's all right. P is AE to the 0.1T. Differentiate that. I get 0.1 AE to the 0.1T, 0.1P. It's basically exactly what I just did in that, uh, that proof. So it does satisfy our equation. So determine the population after three and a half hours. Well, really, it's just a substitution question. But we've got to work out the formula. At this stage, I've only got it as AE to the the uh, 0.1t a remember represents the initial population so ours will be 1 million e to the 0.1t we want to know when t is 3.5 so we now have 1 million 419,000 pieces of bacteria crawling all over you another 500,000 almost so after three and a half hours we're on an island in 1960 the population of this island was 1732 so it's not a large island small island there and clearly they don't like each other on this island because in 1970 the population is now 1260. Let's find out what the annual growth rate, although we're actually expecting it to be a decay rate because it's getting smaller, assuming that it is proportional to population. So right, the P to T is KP, we're assuming that's true. At this stage we can say well I know the solution to that differential equation will be P is equal to AE to the KT. Initial population is 1,732, so therefore I could now rewrite that as 1,732 e to the kt. Now, the other piece of information is when t equals 10, so 10 years later, the population is 1,260. We need to make k the subject. So e to the 10k would be whatever that fraction simplifies down to be. And you'll notice I didn't actually bother simplifying it down because obviously it'll give me the same value when I plug it into a, a calculator. But so k is one tenth the log of 1,260 over 1,732. And uh, so that's to the nearest percent they wanted. So I've done as a decimal, which means as a percent, that's about negative 3% is our growth rate. Well, <laughs> What's better to say? The growth rate is negative 3% or the decay rate is 3%. I suppose it's the same thing really, isn't it? So how long will it take for us to halve the population? So I suppose when you talk about the chemistry 
Uh, that's like a so I find in the half life, if you like. So, P's would then be 866. That's when we're interested. You end up with this formula, which possibly you recognise as the half life formula. One on K, the log of a half. That's basically where it comes from. So either the KT would be a half. Works out to be 21.786. Question. Imagine that had turned out to be 21.2. What would the answer to this question be? Uh, still be 22. Because at 21 years, it hasn't halved yet. Uh, 16B is what we'll look at.